Bam. Um, it's from Pamela, so just Pam and then Bam, we just wanted to spice it a little bit up. And so my friend actually gave me the name because I was very, oh, how should I name myself as a DJ? I'm very like difficult finding something and then he was like, you know what, just say Pam Bam. And then at the beginning I wasn't so sure. But when I went outside and people asked me for my name and I always said like Pam Bam, they were like Pam Bam! Like everybody was so like excited about the name that I was like, okay, cool. Let's stay as Pam Bam. There are two different people. There's Pamela, which is the political scientist interested in peace and conflict, sub-Saharan Africa and loves politics. And then there's DJ Pam Bam, which is the music lover. I call myself not really DJ, I sometimes say I'm a music educator. So Pam Bam tries to bring good, different music, experiments with music to people. But also I'm trying to kind of educate with... When I started, I started with hip-hop, with black music, but I looked into the old days. I looked, I looked into the 60s, into the 70s, how hip-hop started, where were the roots of black music. So. Pam Bam is, yeah, she's a music lover, she listens a lot to music, music makes her happy, music makes her day. Age, I don't exactly know, but it was the time when I started to, do, to go out. Um, this was back, this was when I was living in Düsseldorf. <laughs> we sometimes went to, to Holland to went to like a really nice club. And I mean, I always saw these guys standing behind the vinyls or behind the one and twos. And I was always like, I mean, I liked it. I was like, I wish I could do it, but I never really like tried it. But then there was one one party I remember. It was in Berlin, and one of my friends, she is, um, her name is DJ Hatnet. Um, she was working with MTV, and she was DJing at one party I went, and she totally played the music a lot. I mean, she really she felt me. So whenever she was playing, like all of my girls, we were, we went crazy. So that was the moment when I thought, hmm, actually it's possible as a girl also to be a DJ and actually to be good. I always told my friends, I'm practicing, I'm practicing. And one day they asked me, what, what were you practicing? I said, yeah, DJing. I'm DJing at home. And they're like, okay, really? So when can we see you? And then, yeah, there was one friend's birthday and he said, yeah, do you want to DJ for me? So I said, yes. And that was the first moment. And I remember the evening, like, I mean, all of my friends, remember this moment because it was like one hour before the party I said no I, I can't do it I don't feel the music and they were like what she's saying she can't feel the music so all my friends were calling me I was still at home like she can't feel the music what are we gonna do and then they called me and said like you know just come here bring your music bring your equipment and we just see how it goes so I went to the party and then people were expecting me, so I couldn't say no anymore. <laughs> and that's when I had my first like public, kind of private birthday gig, and it went very well. I think being a female DJ in Ghana is, has also very a plus, because people remember me easily. Like a lot of people just know Pam Bam. And it's, they say, I think it's mostly when I play like old school hip hop, that's when people actually come up to me and say, you play this kind of music? Wow. I remember the first time when I was DJing at Republic Bar, when I put up my equipment and I saw the people looking at me. What is she doing? What is she doing? And you could see in their faces. But when I did it the first night, after like 30 minutes, I saw people watching again. Is it really her? Is it really the same person? And that's when I realized, okay, actually I'm doing a good job. I grew up in Germany and you, you still always have the view of Africa as a place where, where you maybe not make so much money. So when I came here and I was DJing for the first time, I thought it's more for, it would be for free. Because I thought people don't have so much money here, they cannot pay me, and I come from Europe, it's okay if they don't pay me. But the interesting thing is when I was DJing the first time for Fashionista, Afri uh, for Fashionista Ghana, um, without even asking, they, gave, they paid me. So I was like, wow, people just, people just paid me. And then my second gig too, they just paid me without me even asking. I was like, oh, I can do it for free. No, no, we pay you. And that's the moment when I was like, whoa, actually I can, I can make money here, you know? But it was never for me about the money. It was also to have the chance to DJ and because at the beginning I was not so confident and, and I needed a place. But it actually turned out to be something that can, can, I can make a living with it. You can make a living with it. I came 
influenced by Afro House. At the beginning, I know Ghana is not the place for house. I did Afro House, I mixed it with Afro beats, I mixed it with hip hop, it worked. People loved it. So you have to also take a step and try and don't be afraid to do something different than other people do. Just writing the finals, um, but also working in, in peace and conflict with the Kofi and that. So me, myself, I read a lot. I, uh, I read a lot of news, I watch a lot of news. I like to talk a lot about African politics. I think that's something I even enjoy more when I'm with friends outside and I can talk about African politics or about conflict situations in Africa. That's, that's a lot what I do. And also I like to go to markets, buy materials, do African print dresses, also something good eating. When I'm in Ghana, my favorite food is for sure the Ivorian, Ivorian food. It's a chicken with a local plantain, plantain. then um, with chicken, and then they have this nice onion. And then they have this just amazing avocado salad. And when I go there, I'm, I, I just never want to stop. It's like I eat it and I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> Hello, my name is Pamela, AKA DJ Pam Bam. And I'm a change now. So, hello, my name is Pamela, aka DJ Pam Bam, and I'm a game changer.